Start first by uploading your PCB. If you click at this icon, you will see all the file types that SI Wave can support, especially IPC 2581 and ODB++. Then click on this icon to SI Wave Wizard and go to DCIR Drop Analysis. Select which power plane or RF line you want to analyze. You can do more than one. Select to add a voltage source, current source, any of these two. So I will put a voltage source at the VRM and a current source at the CPU. You can change the value. These are the numbers that will be used for all the frequencies. Do configure, validate, everything is okay. Say okay. Then you close this dialog box. I can activate my power plane, highlight the 1.2 volt, go to simulation and select the near field. Select the name, enter the frequency band, number of points. And where do you want to calculate your near field? It's like a box around your PCB. Now that we have a solution, click here and you say plot field. And you can animate with respect to all the frequencies. You can plot the E field instead of the H field. So we use these plots to identify locations where we have EMI issues. On the side here, you see a display of the maximum E field for each frequency. Practically, as a way, we'll check the whole box of the E field, near field and will detect where is the maximum and displace it. You can also change the transparency so you can see the feed on top of your model. So you can tell exactly where the problem is.